If you remember earlier, I was talking about how S3 uses a flat hierarchy um, in generally when we're talking about general purpose buckets. But when you go to the AWS console, it allows you to actually create folders. And I put this in uh, parentheses because uh, you actually aren't creating true folders found in hierarchy systems. What's happening here is in the uh, S3 console, when you go and you create a folder, it's actually creating a zero byte S3 object with a name that ends with a forward slash, which indicates that it is a folder. And notice that screen grab from uh, the S3 console, it says folder uh, as the type. Notice that the size has nothing there. It has just a, a hyphen to indicate zero size. So S3 folders are not their own independent entities, but they're just S3 objects. S3 folders don't include metadata, permissions, and all these other things. Um, uh, S3 folders don't contain anything. They can't be full or empty. S3 folders aren't moved. S3 objects contain the same prefix are renamed. So if this is confusing, uh, hopefully showing this little code example will make it even more clear. So let's say we're using AWS CLI and we're trying to list all the objects in a bucket. So I created a bucket here called test bucket AB123 and I created only two files. I created a folder and then I put a file in that folder. And so what it's returned back to me is a object with a key of folder name forward slash. And notice that the folder is of size zero. And then down below, this is the object that's in that folder. Notice that that object has the prefix my folder for slash file name. It's not in a folder, it's just named to have that uh, prefix as part of its name. And so uh, that's what we mean when we're saying it's a flat hierarchy. So hopefully that makes sense there. But uh, yeah, that is how uh, bucket folders work in S3 when we're talking about general purpose buckets.